I think it's important for a contemporary art museum to not just show art that is made recently, but to show art that deals with issues that are contemporary. We think we know what the Holocaust is, but I think for most people the Holocaust is a closed chapter in history, one that we've dealt with and that we can now move on from. Heinrich Becker was an Austrian artist. He was born in 1925 and died in 2003. He first came to prominence in the 1960s and 1970s as the editor of an avant-garde journal called Neue Texte, or New Texts, and he focused on concrete poetry. Concrete poetry is a kind of poetry that emphasizes how the word and how the letter looks on the page. As he was uh, working on this journal, he also began to reflect on his own past as a member of the Hitler Youth and as a member of the Nazi Party. He never participated in any activities in which anyone would have been hurt, but he never denied the fact that he was an enthusiastic supporter of the Nazis. There are a very small number of artists who dedicate their entire lives to a single project. And that's actually what Heinrich Becker did. He saw this as an enterprise that will never be complete, or is only completed when he dies. The exhibition is called Landscape M, and Landscape M stands for the Landscape of Mauthausen. And Mauthausen was the largest concentration camp in Austria. It was also an industrial site where slave labor was performed by the inmates. They worked in quarries where they were often worked to death. And beginning in 1968, Becker made hundreds of trips there as a photographer. So as Becker photographed the camps, he began to realize that there were actually still a lot of material there. And so he began to collect objects, which he called finds or found objects. And for Becker, it was a way of saving these objects before they disappeared. The exhibition also includes the photographs that he took in the 90s of his television screen. And these pictures from the television screen are arranged like many of his photos in small series of three or four images. And they look almost like a contact sheet. The exhibition also includes a multi-panel visual work of concrete poetry. And he wrote it using quotations from a Nazi submarine logbook. And these quotations record location, wind, sea condition, weather, and there's just one page where something else happens. How the submarine comes upon a lifeboat and they let them go on the lifeboat nonetheless. So Becker was always a poet and a photographer at the same time. You can see in his poetry he's thinking visually and in his photographs he's thinking textually. I think for Becker, art should invite us to reflect and also criticize. I thought that it was especially important to do an exhibition like this, which doesn't sensationalize, which doesn't attempt to manipulate you, but somehow still makes it so clear that this is an enormously important matter for you to pay attention to. I think Becker's art wants to give us a different experience of the Holocaust or give us a different way to think about it. Not as this abstract chapter in history, but as a collection of millions of moments of suffering and cruelty. And I think he, he wants to show us this by emphasizing the details. Becker was extraordinary not for being a Nazi party member, but for dedicating the rest of his life to reflecting on that experience and that history in a very public way.